situation that interests me. For me, it's not so interesting. If I know everything that's going to happen in the animation, I lose interest in it, because then I've already seen it in my head. I don't write ideas up. I never do, because the one that matters stays anyway. Or they come back in another form. It's more about letting things pop up and just knowing which things to grab. That's how I see ideas in a bit, like I don't make them, I'm more like catching them. The best I can do is just catch the right ideas. I had an idea that was hard to resist, so, and the idea that uh, there is something really static and, and still even though there's actually so much going on. Uh, Natalie and I met in Berlin around 2004. We work really similar because she taught animation to herself, she's self-taught in animation and I'm more or less self-taught in making music, so we have a very similar process. In this case, I didn't have an animation to compose the music for, so it was more we were talking, and he was making the sculptures in the studio, and I had like images of the sculptures on my computer, and I started composing it, and I just wanted to, I wanted to create different atmospheres and moods that would either they would highlight the sculptures or they would go against the sculptures. Even though that this piece is humorous, it's dark too, but the music really, really makes it so much darker. Music is actually more physical than, than art because you never, you like almost never allowed to touch anything. But with the music, you, you, you feel it inside. There's no different from like hearing it outside. I work with Willem de Kooning, one of the focal points of the collection Frida Borda. Natalie and Hans are Swedish artists who are based in Berlin. The best way to make an idea physical, well for me that's animation or sometimes sculpture, and for Hans that's music. We're showing newer works in a section and then in the salon room we have five older video works projected as a painting exhibition together with the Kooning as a counterpoint to our work. I'm really interested in psychology, to understand myself and my surroundings and to understand the world. Sex and violence is like one of the strongest, how do you say that, one of the strongest forces. forces. Urges. Sex is a very good, uh, it's a very good uh, symbol for bigger like relationships and power and power structures. So worship for example, that is so much about, like you can take almost anything and if you dig deep enough, it becomes worship. <laughs> 